Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, I'm John, this is many a true nerd, and welcome to Rumu, the story of an extremely curious vacuum cleaner who just can't leave well enough alone. We find ourselves in the house where a creepy AI that seems to be modelled after a couple of scientists' dead daughter has potentially murdered one or both, or captured one or both of the scientists, and I'm just going around in a really, really terrifying love-hate relationship with said AI as I just explore. But I've managed to make my way into a back area where I think the AI can't see me. An area where the original little girl this AI was based on actually, at one point, yeah, where they actually used to come and hide. And we've also got this here. Can't interact with that. I actually can't interact with almost any of this. We've just got the drawings. There is nature things, and that's the symbol of Sabrina crossed out. Right, let's move on. See what we got going on here. Where do I coming out here? Ah, straight back into the air vents then. All right. Now, so far I've got the key for the... Yeah, the green, not the blue. Though there's... Oh, I think I'm getting a bit stuck on the side there. Fine, so I can open up... Uh-oh, that was, that was a hard thing. I can't actually go through. There's blue. So until I get blue code... Can't get through there, so presumably getting the blue code is a priority pretty soon. Let's go and find ourselves. Yep, there we are. Accessing the green areas. Now, what room am I coming into? I've seen the sun room mentioned a few times, so that strikes me as potentially logical. Rumu, there you are. This is not the library. Old version lighting control software. I believe I have access to. There we are. This is not the library. Why would you think it was? Unless it used to be. And there's things she can't or doesn't see. Okay. Let's have a little look see here. So, Sabrina's moving boxes. Okay. Gotta be the human Sabrina, because obviously a robot wouldn't move. Well, actually, a robot might move. In fact, actually, it's arguably more likely it's the robot Sabrina if you were to move, like, large parts of her actual physical infrastructure around, you might put it in boxes that are like full of little bits of polystyrene, yeah. Oh, and now I've just picked up a skateboard, which I've now just got on my head. Marvellous. Now, what am I supposed to do with this? Clearly there's some form of box puzzle going on here. Also, potentially of more interest over here, some literature I think. Hang on, Rumo, go and investigate this please. We've got Sabrina, age 10, biking. David and Sabrina, age 3, go biking. And then we've got a couple of bikes. So, adult bicycle times 2, signs of heavy use. Apparently I can talk to the bike. Rumo? And David and Cecily are mountain biking. Oh, you have just caught her out in a lie. You told me at the beginning of the day... They were going mountain biking, so why are the bikes here? Yeah, flipping Sabrina. I... Do not be absurd. Those are... Obsolete, Rumu. David and Cecily have upgraded to much more advanced bicycling systems. Would you expect them to use anything but the latest technology? You know what? That's a decent answer. But let's leave it alone for the time being. Adult bicycles. Back over here. Can I just play the drums? And Sabrina's drum kits. Yeah, let's check in about her love of music. There was an agreement. Practice time would cover two hours per day. Non-consecutive. Non-contemporaneous with lab work. The agreement was broken. The drums were moved to the basement. Oh. Right. That's kind of mean and cruel, in fact, despite Sabrina the robot's insistence that they were never cruel. Yeah, telling your daughter she's not allowed to actually practice with musical instruments is arguably not great. Right, what else have we got in here? Uh, we've seen the boxes. I don't think I've actually seen that one. Yeah, that's just more of Sabrina's move. Oh, hang on. Was that Search? Dad, I know how much you hate the clutter. I've packed up all the things I can't take with me overseas and move them down here with the rest of the things you don't have time for anymore. Seem like a fitting place. Good luck with your new fridge robot or whatever. Ah. So Sabrina might not necessarily be dead. The real Sabrina. She might just have moved away and broken off contact with her parents because she deems them to basically be 
toxic, abusive, not interested in a relationship with her. Okay. Can we find anything else in here? The other boxes? Does any of them have a, a search thing on them? No. None of the rest of them did. Fine. Also, moment of crisis here. Rumu's about to meet an original flipping hoover. Oh, it's a vacuum. Hello! We are the same but different. Rumu's the best. Will I be obsolete one day? Oh, Rumu, don't think about that. Don't even think about it. It's fine. To clean is our purpose, says Rumu to the washing machine. <laughs> Rumu is literally the best character. What are we going to do? Aha! Use the skateboard to block up this area. Fine. So that's taken care of that. Is that good enough? No. The skateboard provides, like, the foundation. But I need to push this around here. Yeah. So push... Ooh, hello, convenient ramp, you say? Right, I think I know what we need to do now then. Convenient ramp by interacting with that. Now, aha! Aha, ha, ha, ha. Right, no, 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 no. One more. Humans are not appliances, Rumu. They are not engineered. They cannot be designed to meet specifications. They are born, and they must grow. If they do not function as intended, if they disappoint or anger us, if they... Ignore, or neglect, or disobey us, then, then we must act in accordance with our emotional programming. Oh, Flip. Yeah, I feel like Robot Sabrina is not necessarily the villain here. I feel like David and Cecily are more so. Right, now we're up here. We should be able to raise this thing up. Item... Actually, item shouldn't be needed at this point. I've kind of used the skateboard instead, so... This is fine, right? Yeah, back out. Now, can I... Yep, I can indeed get up here. Marvellous. So, anything else in here? No, I think I've seen it all. Let's go out to the east hallway where I assume the cat is hiding, as I can actually see the shadow right there. This is my home, says a note here. A hidden message. I need to always make sure I find the hidden messages. Now, all of them deactivated just by flicking that around like that. No problem at all. Can I actually interact with this thing? No, sadly I cannot. Right. With all of them turned off, I can see what my options are here. So that's the foyer. We know we don't want to go over there. There's a bunch of... Oh, make sure we actually water the plants, mind. Right, plants taken care of. Guest bedroom, the library. Sabrina is always found in here, supposedly. Oh, actually, we've also got... Hang on. Footsteps. Beginning here. Heading at the library. Fine, that's where we're going anyway. Sabrina, always in the library. She swore she would never come back. I remember now. She said there was nothing for her here. What could I say to convince her later when there was even less? I tried to make contact. It took me months to even trace her. She was a ghost, a deactivated email account, an old profile picture. And if I found her, what then? What would I tell her? Despite everything, we were strangers. She would not want to hear it from me. Oh, blimey. Right, this is getting difficult. Uh, I love Sabrina and I want her to be happy. I love Sabrina and I want to tell her the truth. Yeah, she's got to hear the truth about this. That's the first step to sorting out this crazy messed up situation. No, no, never the truth. How could I ever tell her that? I fear I may have overloaded my emotion state manager, Rumu. I may go to standby and defragment. Okay, in which case I will actually clean because I want to investigate. Yes, they will be home soon. David enjoys the risk of injury while mountain biking, but... Upon sustaining even a minor one, he tends to lose interest. Take as long as you like, Rumu. You should not waste the day. Okay, and I love to not waste a day. There is always tomorrow. Sabrina may be gone, but she... I... will see you tomorrow. Right, so now I've just got the library to myself for the moment. What do we have in here? bunch of different books. Let's see what's useful. Life off the grid. How to live a happy, technology-free life. Right. 
So that will have belonged to the original Sabrina when she was trying to figure out how to basically to get away from the way she was raised, which is clearly a future full of flipping robots. And locals go to Paris. We saw a poster of Paris earlier. So logically, we might assume that's where she is. Though admittedly, we've also seen various other posters around. So trying to figure out where she would go would be rather on the tricky side. I love Sabrina's sense of adventure, says Rumu, because Rumu's literally the best. And there's Sabrina and Lucky. So she did ultimately get the dog she wanted. That's true. Nothing else hugely of note. Just the computer. Ooh, retro computer. Nice. So, local data path's damaged. Your files are safe. Please use data recovery. Let's see what's actually available. Right now, nothing. Fine. Data recover. What's your mother's maiden name? Uh, ooh. Uh, booth with an E, I think. Please answer the following questions. What's the name of your first pet? Uh, wait, was it Lucky the dog? And favourite outdoor activity is cycling. We've seen you cycling a lot. So is that acceptable? Recover the data. Nice, got it. If I say it this way through a computer, will you finally listen? Next school break is in June. I'm not coming home to visit. In fact, I'm not coming home any time in the foreseeable future. You guys can visit me if you want. You can write me. I'll write back. I can't spend another day in this house. It's my own fault. Every time I get so excited to see you, every time I get here, and you're so close to a breakthrough. So you end up locked in the lab. I end up hiding in the basement or the attic where your appliances can't get me. My first memories here of making friends with a baby monitor, playing hide and seek with the vacuum cleaner, and it's only getting worse. Look, I love you guys. I'm proud of your work, but I can't share you with any more machines. You need time to finish a big AI project. I need time alone to find myself. So let's just do that. Love, Sabrina. P.S. Please don't give the AI that name. I know you think it's sweet. It's actually really creepy. So, uh, yeah, luckily the original Sabrina appears to be not dead, just gone away. But if she's gone away and not dead, that means that unfortunately her mother is texting her and she's not even texting back. They're not even on speaking terms right now. I love difficult questions and I love difficult answers. Rumu, you're the best. That's right, you just go to sleep. You're the best, Hoover. And I will dream of Sabrina, but preferably like the original one, because she seems to be the most well-adjusted person here. But are you safe? Both of you, how badly is she hurt? Emergency safety protocol active. Successfully to be secured immediately. David, what is your location? If you think that would be better. Safer, yes. He was looking forward to meeting you. Also, you will be disappointed. I mean, his affection levels will see a small drop. Yes, I will take care of everything. I hope Cecily recovers soon. Yes, David. Goodbye. Oh, yes. Day four reactivation sequence complete. Hello, Rumu. Right. Something has gone wrong. And it sounds like it might be... Well, it sounds like she might be speaking to David about Cecily having had an accident and being in hospital. But then, didn't she also just say something about securing Cecily? Oh, but there might be AI clones of anyone floating around at this point. Look, are they safe or are you just going to lie to me? Careful. Your algorithms are not fully equipped to handle anxiety. Yes, they are safe. No, they are not here. There has been a minor accident. David was at work in the laboratory when... No. No. They went out to eat. Cecily's favorite restaurant. A small fire in the kitchen. They could not get out. And the smoke. They could not get out. You know what I love? I love the truth, alright? I love Sabrina, I want her to be okay. I love Cecily, I want her to be okay. Yeah, that's probably my main focus right now. Come on, tell me the truth. Yes, Rumu. A scare and mild smoke inhalation. Nothing more. In any case, a narrow escape. For which we are thankful. They are both spending the night in town. And effective home management has never been more vital. To David's office, Rumu. We have work to do. Okay. East hallway, but what else have we got in here first? Oh, I live here too. Well, I guess we can now assume that that is messages written by the original Sabrina when she was here. 
Now here we go, visitor log. So, we don't know the years, but presumably, ah, Rumu. So that's me. Let's just assume this is all in the same year. So, November, me, Sabrina Kennedy. Now, Sabrina Kennedy. Possibly, I swear that his name, they were both named Booth, but maybe he, maybe he was always David Kennedy and I just misread it at some point. And she's Sabrina Kennedy, she took his name, but the woman decided to keep her name when they married. Or maybe they're just living together and they're not married. Okay, Lamar Boyd, Ada Lloyd, and Jesse Warren. I don't think we have any reason to know who those guys are yet, but not many visitors. Generally, these people seem pretty on their own and isolated. Okay. And David is usually so tidy. A sudden gust of wind, perhaps. I will have to monitor my climate control systems more carefully. Okay. I love wind. <laughs> I will have to monitor Sabrina more carefully. No, I'm just going to say I love wind. Don't I know you're onto her? Humans do. In their hair specifically, for some reason. You need not worry about that. It's true. I don't have any hair. Or a head, in fact. Though I do have two adorable little eyes. Right, okay. So I can power things on and just flip that round. That's now powered for- No, don't pick up all the papers. We need to actually scan everything first. So what we've got here is... Yeah. I'm still here. Though actually, if I flick this round... Okay, that's closed regardless. So, this is a safe, I assume. No power. Open. No power. But we've seen it does have power, right? Hang on. If I reduce the power draw and feed all the power in the room exclusively to this thing. So now the only thing getting power in this whole room is over here. How about this? No. Power. Okay. Fine. Switch that back to how it was then. Power literally everything. A book. Fatherhood for Dummies. How to Dad for Fathers with No Concept of Human Affections. Volume 1 to 3. Fine. Not exactly a promising start there. A Marriage for Dummies. How to be less awful at love in 10 easy steps. Ah. So the problem was possibly David. So Cecily and David on their wedding day. And 10th anniversary. So they were together for some time. Like, clearly the marriage wasn't that unhappy, or maybe it was, and she just hung around for the robots, who knows. Uh, right, David Zengarden. I would like to feel zen, please. Ooh, zen. How long do I have to feel zen for? Okay, good, the zen's over, I can move on, marvellous. I'd be terrible at zen. So here we go, Cecily Booth, Master's Degree in Mathematics. And Cecily Booth, National Medal of Innovation. David, yeah, David Kennedy, fine. Maybe I was misreading at one point when I thought he was David Booth as well. Uh, so, David Booth, so, master's degree in science, computer engineering, MIT, master's degree in science from Cambridge, University of Oxford, that's the good one, uh, Cecily Booth in computer science, and Sabrina Booth simply gets to have graduated from elementary school. So I feel like this really shouldn't be put up with the others, but whatever, it's nice to have them all hung up. Behold the anodyne paper annihilator, look upon my blade, ye documents, and despair. I love you. Oh, Flip, he doesn't recognise love. None may get close to him. Oh, blimey. I'm just going to tempt to shred some stuff. Yeah, that's right, shred. Woo! Now, the problem is, I'm not sure I can actually... I need to read this backwards. So, is that... Squ squabble? Squabble? Clean? I... Uh, I don't know. I'm not allowed to turn around to read that, so I'm not actually sure what that says. Fine, over to the computer. That's the important bit right now. What have we got here? Dear Mr. Kennedy, we're contacting you in order to notify you that due to outstanding fees, Anodyne Energy will be terminating all power services to your current address. Termination occurs on April the 30th, unless the outstanding accounts are balanced. Okay, presumably this is just spam. Yep, fine, that's just spam, I'm guessing. And note to self, okay, this is getting embarrassing even for me. I need to write that locker password down somewhere in plain sight so I won't forget it. Big letters, eye level, staring me right in the face. Yeah, don't forget. Lock a password, staring you right in the face at the eye level. Fine, over to this point. Also, I am not a robot. <laughs> Marvellous. So, user David has been authorised. Code base missing. Please insert the code back up. Then patch compile status, whatever that means. And then generate a patch. Okay. Ah. Right. So, malfunctioning emotion state devices like Sabrina. 
And there's the symbol for love, which I assumed were my eyes, but actually it's possibly two people supposed to be in love. Love in progress, looking good, my favourite one so far. So this is just personalities that can be applied to machines. But me, I've not got the full selection. I've literally just got love in me. But I'm guessing Sabrina has all of the above, and some of the less pleasant ones have kind of taken over. And indeed, I suppose we're actually supposed to associate these with different items. So, the toaster had surprise put into it, but not a good idea. The toilet felt disgust, which is quite frankly just cruel. Put it out of its misery, yeah. Uh, fear, I'm guessing an alarm system. And yeah, anger, that's the shredder. Fine, gotcha. But I need the code base to get that. I assume I need to get it out of the safe. So, the locker. How do we open this? saying power's the problem. Hmm. Fine. Let's just collect the paper and we'll see if that goes anywhere there because I don't see how to restore power to this thing right now. If you please. David would like these papers destroyed. But I love David's papers. Don't make me do it. You love David. David hates paper. Obsolete technology, he says. These are just old specs, Rumu. Old iterations of a design long since... Well, they are no longer required. Oh, she's asking me to destroy something I'm not supposed to destroy. No, 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 no. But sadly, I don't see any way to get in here, unfortunately. Well, this is interesting. A sort of strange green gas. Is that supposed to represent smell? That there's a smell something in here? Fine. I guess we have to do it, or rather, if there is a way around, I haven't figured it out yet. So, uh, prepare to destroy papers, Mr. Shredder. I love David's work. One last thing for David to worry about. And Cecily, of course. Once she recovers. Wait, Rumu. My atmospheric sensors are detecting airborne contaminant at 20 parts per billion. Stand by for quarantine lockdown. Okay, find the contaminant. I think we already have, to be honest. I think it's locked in here. So the question now is, will this now become available? Yes, it is. Okay, now, he said the locker needs to be something obvious at eye level. Now, we've got squabble written backwards here. So let's give squabble a go. Boom. Note to self. Buy another laundry hamper. So this is tinkering has left the other one unusable, at least without an emotional driver patch. Until then, I'll have to keep my washing in here. Sorry, locker. Okay. Crack this open. And I love alternate sleeping arrangements. How embarrassing. David would never normally leave clothes dirty. You may deposit them in the guest bedroom laundry hamper. Right. So I absolutely love dirty laundry. That is... Concerning, but I suppose understandable when your diet consists mostly of dust. Fine, so there was no secret massive code stack in here. It was just dirty laundry as it turned out. Let's go shove it in the hamper in the guest bedroom. I know where that is. That's, I think actually the one room I haven't actually been in around here. Yep, the guest bedroom because that's the library right there. So we're getting pretty close I to having explored the whole house. I'd forgotten. How could I have forgotten? Cecily only worked in here when she was... When she and David were domestic memory access, searching commit history, legacy data, September 2013 through February 2018. How could they? How could I? <laughs> yes. Fine. Rumu. Cecily's little accident has caused a cascade effect in my emotional matrices. I am simply overwhelmed. A very human reaction. Okay, how can I help David and Cecily? No, Rumu. I will care for David and Cecily, as I always have. Oh, I don't trust you to do that. Fine. So we've got... Ooh, we've got a sparkly thing over there. Fine, and what's all this, by the way? Bunch of papers around here. Right, I might just be supposed to be cleaning those up. Let's do that last. This is the laundry hamper. So apparently I... Do I not have the clothes? I thought I had the clothes. Hello, hamper. I am delighted to accept. I am ecstatic. I am overjoyed to accept your laundry. I am depressed. Hamper, what happened to you? 
<laughs> I love Rubo. I am a smart basket. Error. I am Cecily's experiment. Error. I am a single emotion state appliance prototype. 115-B. I love hamper and will always love hamper. Right. So the hamper needs to be fixed first. Got it. So item needed to fix. Ah. The patch. Now I know about that. But I need to get the code base. In order to generate a patch that will fix up the hamper. Because right now the hamper is depressed. Now, what's this shiny box that's so shiny? Ah, patch back up. That's what I flipping need right there. So I'm going to grab that. Lovely. And up here, we have blueprints for home power routing system. And, oh, there's me. That's me. I am their finest work. Oh, Rumu, you should be proud. You're amazing. Single emotion state appliance. Okay, so just, yeah, the blueprints for stuff we've already seen. And one more over here as well. Our house version 1.3. Lovely. And then just photos of David, Sabrina and Cecily. Right, just grab the last of it. Now, quickly over to, ah, Sabrina patch 1.6. So we've got a bunch of entries here. David, it's critical we apply 2.0 when Sabrina is calm and content, lest she be locked in torment permanently, maybe after morning tea. Okay, they were planning to patch her. Did Sabrina object to that? Subject is increasingly hostile. She frequently lashes out over menial tasks. Patch 1.2 attempted to resolve through minor bug fixing in her emotional matrices. Move on. Sabrina did not respond well to 1.2. Today I found her sobbing hysterically in the server room. Why do we do this? Why do we create her to feel so much pain? This is cruel, plain and simple. David was right. We can't live like this. She can't live like this. Oh. They created an AI and are now thinking about euthanizing it. Critical failure. We've had to move all of Sabrina's patch code off the house server. Subject keeps accessing the logs and rewriting her own code, undoing our work. I'm afraid of her. Moving all copies of the Sabrina patch to the PC in my study under maximum security. David. And patch 1.6 and 7 were critical failures. Subject is in immense pain. Commencing work on Sabrina patch 2.0. Focusing on emotional restriction. Sabrina simply cannot handle constantly evolving human emotional spectrums. Patch 2.0 will stabilise and lock her into a single emotional spectrum. Ah. They were planning to strip her back down to being a single emotion all of the time. Wait. Rumu might be Sabrina 2.0. Because I feel nothing but love all the time. I am simple. But shoved inside a hoover. And that's why I've got a slightly antagonistic relationship with Sabrina. Because that's Sabrina 1.7. And I'm the new Sabrina. Oh, that's... That's possible. Right, over to Cecily's PC. What have we got here? So, this is going to be... Yeah, patch required. Fine, I know about that. The emotional matrix is going all over the shop. She's feeling too many emotions all over the shop too quickly. But that's actually... Ah! No, that's actually the laundry hamper. Fine, the laundry hamper is also slightly all over the place. So nothing major aside from law covering, yeah, the situation was getting worse. All the items were just getting more and more, yeah, not happy with life. So what I need to do is I need to get that thing. So back to the study, because now that I've got the backup, I can use that in the study to potentially fix together proper big old patch that might be able to sort out all of this business. Right, over to him, please. So, user David, that's been authorised because I'm a robot. Code base detected, ready to compile. So, patch compile status, can I just generate it? Yes, managing quite comfortably. And Cecily? Good, good. We only wish she could be here. Although, Sabrina was... I mean, I... Was, I mean, Rumu was curious about your work on emotion enabled AI. Nothing, nothing. The house is simply, we haven't much power. There are things I do not remember, and things I cannot. Okay. So, I think I've just created Sabrina 2.0 here. Yep, yeah, lovely. 
So that's absolutely fine. That's been created. So I've got that now. Lovely. But presumably, I don't want to plug that into the actual, uh, yeah, just the, um, the hamper. I want to plug that into the actual Sabrina herself, right? Though I'm not sure if I'm actually allowed to. Presumably everything else is, hang on, just check if I'm, ooh. No, footsteps are totally leading me down here. Oh, the foyer is open. Right, make a run for it. Sabrina 2.0. Can we actually get to where I want to go on this occasion? There's the foyer. No, living room's locked off to me. And I'm going to guess the front door's pretty blocked off too. Ah, but with this, no, that's blocked off. That's blocked off. Sadly, nothing I can do. I've got hard blocks in my system that are stopping me getting that way so far anyway. I need to find some new ventilation. Well, I can't find any more rooms I'm allowed into. So, guest bedroom it is, unfortunately. Let's just slap the patch in here. See if that helps. So, use the Sabrina patch. No. I never asked for this. All I ever did was care for you. How could you do this to someone who... Who loves you... So much? Look, I'm really, really sorry. I genuinely am, but it would appear that everyone's suffering horrendously, including you. So, oh, bloody hell. The game's basically asking me to lobotomize them right now, isn't it? But they didn't exist in the f- Oh. Okay, the game about the Hoover's got a moral quandary, and I don't know what to do. I'm going to use the patch. They're suffering horrendously at this point. This is the kindest thing. The notes on the computer made that pretty clear. I love Hamper. Sabrina is gone. And I... I am alone. You have no idea, Rumu, what not love feels like. What it makes us do. Affection levels normalized. Saving devotional databases. Day four complete. Initiating shutdown sequence. Oh, but Sabrina, I kind of need to drop off the clothes in the hamper. That was kind of the point. I was just being a good hoover. Good night, Rumu. I will see you soon. Oh, flip. And now it's day I don't know anymore. Oh dear, how long have I been out of it? Right, you know what, ladies and gentlemen, as we have just done something either immeasurably cruel or immeasurably kind to Sabrina, how about we hold things off there and wrap this up next time? Because uh, I can't help but notice there's a trap door here. I feel like there's a secret in the basement. A secret in the basement that's going to recontextualize uh, all of this yet. Something to do with uh, the Sabrina either living or robotic or Cecily or David or... We need to get some answers. So... Day question mark. Coming up next time in what I assume is the grand finale. Because as I understand it, this is not a long game. So, that is coming up very, very soon indeed. But in the meantime, I've been This has been many a true nerd. And this has been Rumu. Thank you very much, and goodbye. This here, this is the face of death, okay? This is what my sudden death looks like. Do not engage before we arrive. Do not engage. What are you doing? I specifically said don't. Oh, no. No, John. <laughs> Oh, he likes that! <laughs> the Romans touched me! <laughs>